Internet of Things is going wild. Here I have a Wi-Fi enabled drink bottle. Even it'll alert me on my smartphone when it's empty. Or I could just do that. Internet of Things, man, if I hear that phrase one more time, I'm gonna scream, but let's face it. Nowadays, every gadget in your home, office, car, is busily monitoring everything about your life, even the things you don't want monitored, and sending them off to some data bank somewhere. If you're building applications to handle Internet of Things, what you've got is a lot of sensors, a lot of devices, sending information to you at incredibly high rates. The problem with that is, is databases sometimes struggle to handle that rate of ingest. It can be costly to do lots and lots of single row inserts. To give an example of that, let's look at this SQL demo. I've got a table called T, it's just got three columns, X, Y, and Z, with a primary key on the column called X, and I'm going to slam some inserts into it. This is the PL SQL block I'm going to run. This is my mimicking an IoT device or thousands of IoT devices slamming away inserts at it. Now, one thing that's important to realize here is I'm doing 400,000 inserts and every single one is an insert followed by a commit. People savvy with the Oracle database will be quick to shout out, oh, we know that's a terrible way of doing inserts. What we should be doing is A, perhaps removing the commit or committing in certain in batches. And of course, ideally not doing inserts one row at a time. We should be using bulk bind or array processing. That's all well and good if you're building an application from scratch, but the reality is a lot of IoT devices, you don't get access to the code. They simply send you blips of data as they receive it. The database doesn't get the opportunity to batch those inserts up. They simply arrive one row at a time as fast as they can be sent from your IoT device. Unfortunately, all those really cool optimizations that we've used in the past might not apply when you're trying to ingest information coming from an IoT device. So what do we do? That took 18 seconds. That's probably not good enough if I've got thousands of sensors sending me thousands and thousands of rows every single second. Let's truncate the table and look at a cool new 19C feature that is designed to help you with these single row inserts to make them really, really rapid. I do alter table mem optimize for write. That's a new clause in 19C. And as the name suggests, we're saying, use a memory structure in the shared pool to optimize writing to this particular table. We allocate some buffers in the large pool and then what we do is, as inserts come in, we buffer them in this area, and then the database takes care of batching them up and writing them out. Here's my repeat of the same PL SQL block. Notice the new hint that needs to be provided. It's the mem optimize write hint. That's telling the database that we're gonna use this special write buffer to do our inserts. Let's give it a run. We remember that last time we took 400,000 inserts, it took 18 seconds. Now, it's less than four seconds. It's approximately four times faster, and that's just on a little VM here running on my machine. Notice also there's no commit in there. This is the key thing to remember. When you're using the mem optimized write facility, effectively you're writing direct to memory, you're bypassing a lot of the normal transaction mechanisms that you would have in a database. The data here is automatically committed in the sense that you don't get any control over the transaction semantics. We write it into a batch, that batch gets written to disk. If the database were to crash in the middle of this, you would lose what's in the last batch that's sitting there or any batches that haven't been written to disk. That's normally okay for IOTs because by their very nature, they are just funneling data to you as fast as they can. Data is gonna get dropped in all sorts of possible ways, either power off to the device or networking, etc. This is for those situations where you want to have a best efforts mechanism of capturing data. So that's mem optimize for write in 19C, an incredible way of really ramping up the speed of single row insert operations into your database. Bye for now. I was